Right, in this lesson I'm going to try and solve some uh, addition questions by jumping up through a tidy number. I'm going to use a number line to help me do that. Let's start with the question. Uh, I've got $29 and I need some more so that I have $63 so that I can buy something that I've been saving up for. Right, well I'm going to start by drawing a number line. I'm going to put on what I've got. 29 and I'm going to put on what I need to get. I'm going to record all the jumps that I do to get there. Right, from 29 I want to jump up to a tidy number which is close to that. So the t closest tidy number that I can, that's, well, the number that's closest to 29 that's a tidy number is 30. Now that's a jump of 1. So remember that tidy numbers are numbers like 30, 40, 50 um, and they're helpful for this next jump. Now that I'm at 30, I'm going to have to do another jump to get me up to 63. Now the reason I jump to a tidy number to start with is that it makes this second jump really easy. You can see that I don't have any ones here. I've got three tens, but I need to get up to 63. So it's easy for me to work out that 30 plus 33 equals 63. So I jumped up a jump of 1. I jumped up a jump of 33, which means in total I jumped up 34. I can write that in here. Right, let's go down a bit and try another one. Um, this time I've got $48. Uh, I need to do a little bit more saving so that I have $82. Draw the number line, I put on what I've got, and I put on what I want to get to. Just like last time, I think of the tidy number which is just above 48, and the closest one to 48 is 50. And I record how, how far it was from 48 to 50, and the answer is it, so I jumped up by 2. Uh, from 50, I'm going to jump up to 82, and just like with the last one, because I'm jumping from a tidy number, it's really easy for me to work out that uh, 50 plus what equals 82. And the answer here is 32. So I jumped up 2, I jumped up another 32, which means in total I jumped up 34. So you have to be really confident with this lesson. You have to be real. You have to be good at uh, um, jumping up from a tidy number. So that might be a basic fact thing you you might need to practice before starting this lesson. Right, let's do one last one. Um, this time I've got twenty-seven dollars, and I want to save up some more so that I have fifty-four dollars. Just like with all the other ones, I'm going to draw a number line, and I'm going to write on what I've got, $27, and I'm write on what I'm needing to, uh, what I want to get to, I want to have saved $54, so I'm going to work out how much more I need to save. Right, well, just like with the other ones, from 27, I'm going to jump up to the closest tidy number, which in this case is 30. So that was a jump of 3. Now from 30, again, it's really easy for me to jump from there up to 54. 30 plus what equals 54? Well, the answer is 24. So you can see I jumped up 3, I jumped up another 24, which means in total I jumped up 27. So I can write And there. Right, so I guess the things to remember with this lesson is first jump gets you to a tidy number, and from there that makes it really easy to jump up to the number that you're you're trying to get to. Um, and if you need any more help, there's uh, more videos, PowerPoints, and uh, books available at teachertools.co.nz.